y'all. Shelly here with another tip for hospice nurses. So I had a request to do another video on how to document normal respiratory findings. So let's say you have a patient that has Alzheimer's and they don't really have any lung disease. So how do you document that? So the things that I never say is I will never say um, bilateral breath sounds clear to assessment or auscultation, um, no acute respiratory distress noted, um, patient on uh, SAO2 is 98% on room air. I'm never going to restate that stuff in my nurse's note because you've already assessed that and accurately documented it in your flow sheet. So you don't need to restate it. So what I will look at are things like what does my patient's inspiratory effort look like? Because they are weak and debilitated. They're on hospice. They're probably going to have somewhat of a weak inspiratory effort. Um, remember, a, good, a healthy person could take a good deep breath. Your patient probably can't do that. Also, with their lung sounds, what do they sound like in the bases? Because because of the weak inspiratory effort, they're probably going to be diminished to the bases. Remember, a good, healthy person, you're going to have strong lung sounds in their bases. Also, what is their activity? Do they get winded very easily? A lot of times, just shifting position in their chair, they can get winded and short of breath. And also, remember, you have oxygen in their home. Because they are so sick and debilitated, you think there's a chance they need it. You, you don't have oxygen in a healthy person's home. So I would put all of that together and the note would sound something like this. Due to progressively worsening weakness and debility, patient has poor inspiratory effort. Bilateral breath sounds diminish to bases. Patient has minimal tolerance for activity due to increased shortness of breath. Um, supplemental oxygen available and utilized at two liters per nasal cannula as needed for periods of increased dyspnea. So I'll put all that together, and that is my respiratory note on a patient with a normal respiratory assessment. So it still supports eligibility and is accurate. So I hope this tip was helpful. If you have any tips for hospice nurses, please share them here. And remember, when we work together, we can change our world.